Well, I, obviously, I was up there and not down here. <laughs> but I know through systems, I was told in, in Building 7 to work that they obviously have a master list of everything we have on board. So they didn't just have to throw a bunch of stuff on the table, but they had knowledge about what was available to use for that to fix. And uh, amazing to me was I was told they took that and actually took it into a chamber that had a limb uh, system in it, an uh, environmental system, and actually took it, uh, cranked it up, and tested it uh, first before the procedure was passed up to us. And I think a lot, of, most things were done that way if possible. If, uh, for other procedures, I know other astronauts uh, took the procedures into simulators, mission simulators, and tested out the procedures, might redline or suggest changes uh, to the procedures that was current, continually being worked to uh, pass up to us. Well, a, a question with that, the, uh, and, and this comes from, I got a few questions about this. So they sent you up the procedures and the list of the <coughs> items. Did you have any trouble finding any of the stuff? Mm -hmm. uh, finding what? Finding any of the items that you needed to build the canisters. Uh, no, uh, they, they, I, I, frankly, I was not involved. That's another thing they had in the movie, they had me tearing the cellophane. I think it was. Uh, first of all, the cellophane was uh, material that clothing was wrapped in. It wasn't the kind of cellophane you might have at your house. It's very thick material. You need scissors to break it or cut it. So that, that did not happen. Uh, but I was actually off duty. The, the way for two days, the first two days, I was on duty alone, and Jim and Jack would be on duty. You have to realize Jack Swigert was the command module expert. Before he joined the astronaut program, he was a test pilot at North American Aviation and did some of the early work in the design and development of the command module. And until he came into the limb, after Jim and I were down there busily powering it up and showed up behind us, that was the first time Jack Schweigert had ever been in a lunar module. Even on the ground, he had never been in one. And he kind of worried about it because it's a different machine than the command module. Man module was built like a battleship to survive launch and entry. The limb is a reasonably fragile vehicle. We had no inner walls, netting material to protect you from bumping into wiring and plumbing. And you could, it's very noisy. There was very little insulation, the pump noises, fan noises. So comparatively, it was a noisy machine. And furthermore, the glycol pump had a way of changing frequency as it ran. So it, kind of wind up and down, which made Jack worry immediately that this thing going to last. <laughs> uh. Well, I, 